Did you know your DNA might be fighting an ancient evolutionary mistake? In this video, I'll show you how two genetic variants, DRD2TAC1 and DRD2PRO319 PRO, might represent nature's way of correcting itself. Let's dig into the genetics of dopamine, psychosis, and the evolution of the human brain. I wrote a script that runs through a large genotype database, specifically one with data from 592 individuals, and calculates allele interactions between user-specified SNPs. What you're seeing here is a breakdown of co-occurrences between three key SNPs. RS1800497, also known as the TAC1A variant in the DRD2 gene. RS6277, the so-called no-go learner SNP and RS4648317, another variant in the dopamine pathway. Let's start with RS1800497. This SNP has two common alleles, A and G. In our dataset, when the A allele is present at RS1800497, it co-occurs strongly with the G allele at RS6277. That's tight linkage. Here's the kicker. The A allele of RS1800497 reduces D2 receptor density by about 20% per copy, leading to a net reduction in dopamine receptor availability. On the other hand, the G allele of RS6277 is associated with increased dopamine receptor density, though the exact percentage isn't fully quantified. This is interesting because RS1800497's ancestral allele is A. We see it in Neanderthals and in many primate species. At some point, the G mutation occurred in humans, greatly increasing D2 receptor density, potentially boosting motivation and reward sensitivity. But evolution doesn't give gifts without strings attached. As D2 receptor availability rose, so did the prevalence of psychotic disorders like schizophrenia and bipolar. And that's likely when RS6277 stepped in. A mutation in this SNP led to the A allele, which reduced dopamine receptor expression, especially in European populations where the A allele is more common. In effect, Pro319 Pro may have evolved as a compensatory mechanism, an evolutionary attempt to undo the receptor excess introduced by the TAC1 mutation. What we see here could be a genetic course correction, where a potentially harmful change is later mitigated by another. The story of TAC1 and Pro319 Pro shows that evolution doesn't just innovate, it also revises.